Hey, have you seen my owner? Have you seen my owner? I, I, I'm, I'm lost. I, I'm, I'm, he usually wears me. I'm starting to stink, though. I'm... I really wish he had some Febreze so that I can smell a little better. I, I still really want some Febreze, though. <laughs> like, the linen smells really nice. <laughs> Jeez. Are you being sponsored right now? <laughs> uh, or wick. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Dawnstar. Ah, uh, it's snowing. And the troubadours! The road makes this one weary. Hello. Bandits harass the caravans at every step, but Khajiit usually scare them off. Soon it will be time to replenish Bandits our giving you trouble? Water. A few days ago we were ambushed. A nuisance, really. But many of the marauders had quick fingers. If the river One of them stole my moon amulet, <gasps> given to me by my mother when I was just a cub. Aww. It is my only memory of home in this cold land. I could get your amulet back. You are kind to offer. We believe the bandits are part of a group headquartered here. What was this? Be careful. I missed my amulet. Protect the dragon board! But the life cannot oh, be no, replaced as easily. Uh, there's... Uh, you, 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 you okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Saints banded again? <laughs> wow, they just don't quit. Let's get this guy's moon amulet. Sure. More bandits. <laughs> Are we gonna be constantly harassed by saints and seducers now? Yeah, I think so. No more. No more. All right. Combat over. Note of revenge for Sparig. My companions and I have formed a pact to hunt down Anne, the despicable snow elf responsible for butchering Sparig. This ca transgression cannot be overlooked. Our honor as seducers demands nothing less than Anne's head on a pike. No, it needs to be on her shoulders or yes, up against does. mine. Aww. Huh? Hello. Who are you? Here they come. Are you... Hello? Oh, you're... Oh, Olivia. Oli ah. Okay. Let's protect Olivia from these Prisoner bandits that are attacking. Uh, who no. the hell? Ah. Is a door more the like is a dead... Oh, oh my. Well, <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> but it might be our enemy. Victory is yours. I submit. Um, yeah. Always yep. look on the bright side <laughs> of life. Beat him. Be dum, be dum, be dum. <laughs> I think you're supposed to whistle there. I can't. Aww, Lucian. Got the knack. I knew it was Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Masamune, I guess. Hello. Bye. Uh, I cannot best you. I'm not, I'm not trying to attack you. <laughs> He's learned his lesson. That's surprising. Lost knife hideout. Aha. Easy enough to find. That's, that's not great. Uh, yeah. You're, uh, uh, you got a little something in your, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clear out the bandits and get that amulet. Gotta poke them all down. Somehow. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Another bandit camp? Ugh, they're everywhere. Yes, they are. We've got to find the person who has that... Sweet boy's moon amulet. Not all sure. cats are sweet, precious boys. Some of them are quite nefarious. He is. He's super nice. Hello, oh, madam. Head on confrontation. Have a sword of jigglelag. Oh. Have a sword. <laughs> Something smells foul. Who's there? Kajit wishes you dead. <laughs> Come here, kid. <laughs> Dead. Oh, an ugly one. I'll bury you. Still. No, you won't. Fix that. And your friend here? I will not tolerate such discourtesy. I've suffered worse than you. You have met my father. Is that all you got? Yeah. Sorry, I'm looting over here. <laughs> Be warned. You touch Burwale, and he'll touch you back. Not in a lovey dovey <laughs> way either. <laughs> More like stabby stabby. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh, experience points do you think I got after that fight? <laughs> you want something from me? Hey, oh, he's learned his lesson. <laughs> this guy's friendly. <laughs> All right. So where is this? Oh wait, is 
the hammer here? Oh yeah, dark water snake. There's the dead dark water snake. Yeah, Shogar's, yeah, it looks like they captured him. Shogar's tried to come here and kill them, but ah. failed. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> it happens. Wait. The green cap bandits is a dumb name. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's, it's kind of like the wet bandits from like, Home Alone. Yeah. And now to the victors go the spoils. Indeed. Oh, do we have to jump? Do we have to jump? <laughs> Leap of faith? I don't know if we should. The water looks okay. Uh, yeah? Well, nothing ventured, only... nothing gained. <laughs> you survived. <laughs> Oh, there you are. We are creatures of the desert. The north wind chills us to the bones. Here's your amulet. There it is. Ah, home. If you ever need the skills of a Khajiit warrior by your side, I would be honored to travel with you. Aww. Until then, here. This is for you. In thanks. <laughs> well, wow! Well, that's a lot of money. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. No! <laughs> I don't wanna! <laughs> oh, I'll a Civil War quest. <laughs> Let's revisit our weird friend who insulted us. The weird friend who called me damaged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you rude weirdo. Here I am. Wait, what? Ah! Oh, okay. Found you! <laughs> Hi! Yes? Uh, have you written anything notable? We forgot to ask. I've tried. In fact, when I was in solitude, I wrote maybe hundreds of tales, but none worth reading. What if you just fell over a little I'm bit? still maturing pushed you. Then. Okay, okay, honey. A little honey, bit. Looking honey, for my honey, voice. Honey, stop walking into over me. Over the edge. Honey, back honey. On something I no! <laughs> Now. Oh my gosh! How empty they felt. Why did you do that? One night, Corpulus got fed up, kicked me out into the streets, and told me to never come back. That's when I met my muse. My muse was no beauty. I wasn't even a she. My muse was an orc. Greetings. Uh, who is this orc? He was a titan, with arms like tree trunks cut from the great forest. Only, something wasn't right about the way he looked at the tavern sign. When I asked him what was wrong, he managed to force out a word. His bottom lip quivered like a child who just dropped a sweet roll. The word he said was skeever. It was a giant, with shoulders larger than the domes of the blue palace. And he was absolutely terrified. Of rats. That night, for the first time, I wrote with purpose. There was none of the doubt or fear that marred my previous work. The words came faster than I could jot them down. For three days and three nights, I continued. He's a better writer than a talker. When I was done, I knew the work was true. It was the best manuscript I had ever written. It was the best I could ever write. Did you manage to publish it? I bound the book and took it to a writer named Dadanato Liatelli. A writer? Or another writer? I told him the author was anonymous. I didn't want his opinion colored by my presence. I'm not sure it would have mattered. You know what he told me? What? He said the story read like it was written by a blacksmith. <laughs> and that's what I knew. Yeah. Aww. I was still aspiring. Maybe always will be. Hold on, do you hear an infant crying? Oh wait, that's just you. Oh gosh! Successful people are often dismissive of unknown works. And the delusional often exaggerate their own worth. I could be a genius ahead of his time. A writer without peer. I could be a failure who doesn't belong. No! Scribbling words that have no soul. No! To walk either path is to go down a lonely road. But that... A Skyrim. Have you written anything lately? I'm trying a new style. Less words. More pith. As if 
Each sentence for its own story. It's not style about you lack, it's experience. Go out and see the world. Traveling to Windhelm changed me in two ways. I now lack the funds to travel. More importantly, the constitution. He's frail. Uh, any words of advice? I'm the second worst person to seek advice from. Second? The worst is Alexander Simon. Who? At least my failures were never published for all the world to read. It's been nice meeting you. Have fun being sulky out here. Okay, bye. Farewell. See, see you. Uh, please, please don't walk off here. Please, 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 please be Can nice to you? yourself. Not that you got anything else to live for. Just yeah. honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that just kind of depressed me. So. Um... <laughs> well, back to the fun part. Oh, oh, please tell me we're stopping by the volcanic springs. Sure, My body let's do aches it. from carrying your burdens. Ha! They're here. Oh, there's some volcanic springs. Oh, there's there's no water. It's just steam. Oh, dang, they got boiled away, huh? They're, oh, no, this is like California. It's a drought. <laughs> <laughs> Who, some kind of warrior? Is that, what's going on? I... Don't really Let's know what's go. happening. I guess we'll save their life. Tanarama. I guess we'll let you do it. It's Tanarama indeed. Hello. Hi. So, hello, Sophia dummy. Sophia <laughs> dummy? What? I don't know. <laughs> Will this take us to some Dwemer ruins too? Uh, everything. It might. All roads lead to Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm not too happy about Dwemer runes. It's interesting to learn about them, don't get me wrong, but they kind of made my people go insane and turn them feral. Yeah, so, so dismantling their entire presence in Skyrim should be a goal of yours. Nah, Wipe out too... my species, I'll wipe out any trace of yours! Nah, it's just they, they're pretty much set in stone here. Like, literally. <laughs> set because, in stone, come on. <laughs> like, like, literally, literally. I, I got <laughs> them. <in> stone. <laughs> Wait, what? Gosh darn hey, it! Look who it is! There's a undead dragon of some type. What the hell? Are his, <laughs> are his wings made out of paper? What am I looking at here? Yeah, lure him down here. Yeah. A mechanical. Wait, what? what? Come on, then. This is a mechanical dragon! Oh, it's not a, not a fully fledged dragon. It's. I'd okay. Like it's, it's a dwarven oh, guardian God. dragon! Holy cow! Deadpool, don't take it all on yourself! Deadpool! We believe in you, Deadpool! You can kill him! Wait, is this thing... Holy cow, he's spawning more enemies! They're falling out of him! Yeah, yeah, get him, Zora! Take him down! Teamwork! Everybody, converge! Yes, attack the butt, Deadpool! I've suffered worse than you! You haven't met my father! <laughs> Alright, shoo! Well done, team. Well done. All right. Was this one going to have a soul if it's just machinery, though? Wait. Wait, what? It's... Hold on. Wait. How? How? Ingest the dwarven dust. <laughs> Part of me is relieved the Thalmor never considered reverse engineering Dwemer artifacts. They claim it's against Altmeri merits, but I know the truth. Well... We detest working with grease. Oh. I guess it had a soul lodged into it or powering it or something? Oh, maybe the dwarves captured a dragon, extracted its soul, and put it into a machinery. That's possible, you know. Let's check out some Dwemer ruins, shall we? Yeah. We'll probably encounter some Falmer in here. We will have no choice but to kill them. No qualms on my end. Oh, wait, right there. Yeah. No. Welcome, everyone. Oh, what? Can't go in, requires a key. Are you freaking kidding? Came all the way out here. Wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. Oh, are you claustrophobic? Is that Everything even air I'm Spider breathing? <laughs> Looking for me? What's on your mind? Credit where it's due. 
The layout of these ruins is impressive. Indeed. Albeit confounding to navigate. We're in one small room, we can't leave. Yeah. What do you know about the dragonborn? Well, I know you're quick to trust anyone you meet and eager to <laughs> please those around you. <laughs> yeah. I also find you not to be the sharpest arrow in the quiver, if you catch <laughs> my meaning. <laughs> Rude. No offense. Not me, the dragonborn in general. Oh, oh that. <laughs> right, yes. Hmm. Well, the legend of the dragonborn isn't discussed in Altmeri culture. It's really more of a Nord thing. Mind you, that didn't stop me from reading about it. I'm quite the bookworm. Yeah. There's also a song. But I doubt you'd want me to sing it for you. <laughs> Would you please? Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Aww. Maybe then I'll even cook you a meal and serenade you under the pale beams of a guiltless moon. <laughs> <laughs> now then. What a flirt. Holy cow. Getting a little hot under the collar. Tell me what you know. <laughs> From what I've read, the dragonborn could be a very controversial figure in the eyes of a Thalmor. Mostly with the rumors that you are the one the Blades have been waiting for all these long, long years. The Thalmor don't take kindly to Nord prophecies and such. Mm. Mostly baseless theories and predictions about you saving the world, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Not particularly riveting reading material, if I'm to be honest. But from what I could gather, the people of Skyrim see the Dragonborn as the archetype of the true Nord. Something all Nords should strive to be. After accompanying you for some time, I find that notion rather amusing. <laughs> I bet they're really loving you right now. <laughs> Save the world. No pressure, right? Oh, relax. You'll have me by your side. <laughs> Look, uh, I know my past might have cast a shadow on me in your eyes. Not really. I certainly wasn't the paragon of morality. But I swear I'm a changed mer. Besides, huh. you're forgetting my greatest asset. I'll help you look fabulous. That is, if you would only let me spruce up your wardrobe a bit. <laughs> and away they go. <laughs> He's hitting on me hardcore. Look at that. He had a hip thing going on there. <laughs> yeah. He is hitting on me hardcore. Yeah. I'm not jealous. I don't mind sharing your heart with him because you know what? Your heart's big enough. You got a big heart. Aw, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You know I love only you, right? Though, right? <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Bye. ooh. Ethereum Wars. <laughs> I got excited about the Ethereum Wars <laughs> book. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll probably read this later because I know this is going to be an extensive book. Yeah. I think I'd have made a good Dwemer. Shame they're not around anymore. Maybe it's, it's a good thing they're not around anymore considering the, what, the torture they did. Tally promised he'd sing for you and then he didn't. You got blue ovaried. I know. I want him to sing to me. <laughs> Serenade! <laughs> I can sing for you. Would you have a request? It's raining men. You know I know that one by heart. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do I do this? Talos bless Mother Nature! Yeah! He's a single uh, uh trying to inject Talos into this doesn't a, work well. A single Adra. He's an Adra. A single, single Adra. Adra two. Two. He took it, over a the, furious. <laughs> He took over Ethereus, and he told Re me what I had to do. <laughs> he rearranged the sky. To let each and every Murren mare find the perfect guy. <laughs> Hold on, here comes the big kicker. What? It's raining man. Yay! Hallelujah. Wait, no. Praise Talos, it's raining man. <laughs> Oh Lord! <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna let myself get absolutely soaking wet. Yeah! So what's all this talk about Ulfric murdering the High King with his voice? Superman does the exact same thing all the time. 
Superman. Who's Superman? I've never heard of that person. Neither have I. I'm a sword. I'm a sword. <laughs> How you doing, y'all? I'm a sword. Oh, get a singing I'm a sword. sword. Really? I'm a sword. I can scream. Ah! Why? Why would the sword do that? <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Carlotta has any fresh apples in stock. Let's go check it out. Carlotta. What? Hello. There's a cheese merchant here. This one needs something? He's walking <laughs> through his own stall. How can I assist? Hmm? Hello. What you got for sale? Get yourself some Pac-Man cheese. Why not? Yeah. Let's give you some food, too. Hang on. Here's a couple of sweet rolls that probably are a guy who died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some sweet rolls. Non-vegetarian. The roads of Skyrim can be treacherous. If you must walk, then be wary. The roads are treacherous. That's why I only walk Indeed. on cheese. Yeah, and that's why you keep walking through your own stall. <laughs> yes. Hi there. Some Alec warriors are looking for you. Oh no. They found me? They did. I need your help, please. Come with me. I think it's time for a drink. Let's see if this innkeeper won't give us a discount. Moving with a purpose, I see. Mm, I can't decide what I want. What's fresh today? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Never mind. I'll just have that apple I packed a few days ago. <laughs> I should probably eat it while it's still fresh. So the Alec here know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? Shut up and let us help you! They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him and the rest will scatter. Find me the moment the Alec here are taken care of. Hello. Larkspur? Greetings, fair lass. It's not often such beauty is allowed to blossom in such a cold and dreary place. Another flirt. They call me Larkspur. That name should tell you anything you need to know, and everything you want to believe. Oh. And I consider it bad form to leave a comely lass wanting. Do I know you? Perhaps. You may have heard rumors regarding my vicious appetite for women. And I assure you, I'm never vicious. You may have heard I'm a nefarious rogue who robs from the wealthy and gives to the poor. But there is nothing nefarious about justice. No, we've never heard of you. You may have heard I'm as tall as a giant and have claws like a werewolf. No. And so, I submit to you my hands as evidence. And you'll find that they're strong, but their touch is gentle. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm still not familiar with the name. <laughs> Better for me to spend more time in your company, sweetly. <laughs> what brings you to the dungeon? Would you believe me if I said to meet fair lasses such as yourself? No. <laughs> I won't insult your intelligence with such a rehearsed approach. Yet, it's not all lies. Conjugal visit. The lass is most fair. I don't like false flattery, but coming from you, it's not too bad, I guess. Not good either. And I detest false humility, but in your case, I'll also make an exception. False humility? What? I confess, I didn't come to this dark and bleak dungeon to find such radiance. Yet, it pleases me all the same. That, that's sparky. I come here every day to remind myself that I'm a free man, and to appreciate all the beautiful gifts life has to offer. I come down here to gloat to all the prisoners because I get to enjoy life. <laughs> You were once a prisoner here, hey? I'm a bandit, a thief, which might strike you as odd, considering this dashing head of mine is still attached to its body. Nah, I believe it. After all, in this land, only the rich get a trial, whether your capital is coin or politics. My pursuers couldn't execute me because I turned myself in. I turned myself in because the Jarl can't risk an execution. Why not? With the civil war going on, there's too much turmoil. And the Jarl knows his chair isn't exclusive to his bottom. To execute a bandit who sacks finely clothed men and spreads the coin among the people, well, that won't make that chair any more comfortable. 
Oh, you're um, a hero to the people. Uh, any tales you'd like to share? Now, there are many perils I encountered on the road as a bandit, but the most terrifying by far I met in the drunken huntsman. She was a raven-haired lass, Dunmer, with streaks of gold framing eyes like midnight. She called herself an artist. I asked if she could paint my friend's picture. She said her price was 500 gold. <laughs> 500 for a bloody picture, I thought. But I was drunk, so I paid. Bloody was right, and it was my friend that night who paid. Um, what a fun tale! Okay, bye. Goodbye. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> In so many ways, yeah. There's something I What are you looking at? Sadia. I need to find Kamatu. Where is he hiding? Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. Hello, Swindlers! I'm warning you. Hi. Back off. Aha! Yeah, we're not doing no. that. <laughs> you want her? Funny. I'm so used to bandits hunting me, I never thought I'd be hunting them. Ha! Huh. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Looks like we might have to barrel through some bandits. Ah, Hello, oh, where's your boss? We want to no. bribe him. Ah, we don't want to kill you. Do? Huh? What you gonna do? Where Can't are you? Count out your coin. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Replace my blood with tomato juice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anne has been an adventurer for so long, she's been playing since they were known as the Younger Scrolls. Ah! Anakir, hold! Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfeld for her crimes. So, do you have a horse in this race, or can we bribe you? Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. I don't know if I trust this guy. I don't know if I trust her. Maybe we should kill them. Why? Because I think they're evil. How, how do you know they're evil? How do you know Sadia's evil? Why don't you trust their word? I don't have a reason to, because I just met them. They have a vested interest in lying if they're actual mercenaries. Then how do you know that Sadie is innocent? I don't. Would the best course of action be not to get involved? Is the morally correct option just walk away? But then the quest would be incomplete in our log, and we can't do that! Yeah! <laughs> Let's complete this quest for Google Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the? Yeah. Oh, that bones right there. Okay. Yeah, they're bones. <laughs> they're very shiny bones. Yeah. Very shiny. But it was like five dudes standing next to each other in a <laughs> flanks formation. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a horse. <laughs> what? Hello, random horse. Ah, oh, it's come a back. wild stallion. Wild stallion, come back. Come back here, free horse. Whoa, <laughs> it's not stealing if nobody owns it. <laughs> it's, it's, are you taming it? I think you're taming it. I think so. I think it's starting yep. to respect you. Witty noises. Wait, Tally, where'd you get that horse? <laughs> where'd Tally get the horse? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my magnificent steed. Look what I tamed. It was so easy. All right, horse, you stay here. Goodbye, horses. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty cool horse. Are you serious? <laughs> what? You didn't seem to want it. <laughs> it's not that I didn't want it. I was dismounting so that I could go into the city. Ah, check out dismounting. I can never have anything nice. You can! And then I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> You're not entering into this city. <laughs> no horses allowed. He's gotta yeah, go through. You don't wanna barrel through children with a thousand pound horse. <laughs> you oh don't I Oh Feel safe, citizen. 
As long as I am watching, crime doesn't stand a chance. That's, uh... That, that guard is missing their arms. War is a terrible thing. Yep, yep. All right, Sadia, where are you? Probably nah. still in her room. Yeah, let's Wait, report. she hasn't been working this whole time? <laughs> what are they paying for? Any news of the Alakir? They're coming for you! There's a horse waiting for you at the stables, one that my boyfriend stole. <laughs> I'll make sure you're safe. <laughs> let's not waste any time. She can't have my stolen horse. I stole it fair and square. You stole it from me. Yeah. Your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a Valentine's Day gift. I already, I already gave you onion roasted <laughs> potatoes, and yet you keep taking. <laughs> That's true. And taking. I'm such an asshole, aren't I? Let's <laughs> just. You're awful sometimes. <laughs> Why? What I do? You steal horses from me. <laughs> That's I steal horses you for you sometimes, though. No, you don't. Sadia, come back. Your horse is... No, the horse is getting away from me. Horse, come back. I don't think I can ride him now. <laughs> he did nothing to warn Oh, that. Lord. Oh, no. Sophia. <laughs> we meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Your luck had to run out sometime. She's Light immobilized. as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Mm-hmm. Till next time. Ah! <laughs> I think it, so. It's following you, but you can't ride it anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> this is why I can't have nice things I, anymore. Sorry. Whatever. Oh, you just have to steal it back from me. I can't. It won't let me ride him. Hmm. Guess we're having a horse for dinner. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He keeps getting in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so, got any salt licks? <laughs> Here's my butt. <laughs> you like what you see? You like what you see? Well, you can't have it. Your boyfriend took it. <laughs> you can't have this butt. <laughs> Nor can you have this face. Nor can you ride me. <laughs> Your boyfriend will ride me all night long. <laughs> Stop making this into a weird sexual thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the horse likes you. It keeps showing you its ass. It's just showing me what I can't have. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we're going to a grave. Oh, excellent. I can't wait to show my horse what dead humans look like. Did you know Falkreath used to be a part of Cyrodiil? If it was as dreary then as it is now, I'm not surprised we let the place go. Hey, look, there's a dead body that hasn't been buried yet. What does the Khajiit say? Khajiit finally got a lead on Edward. It seems he and his bandit friends fled north to Skyrim. But when he spoke to the Grand Guard Cap... But when he spoke to the Guard <laughs> Captain... <laughs> he got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> he tells Khajiit the bounty on Edward has already been claimed. A ripe old adventurer showed up to the barracks on a horse dragging the Breton's corpse up behind him. They tell Khajiit the body is buried at the far end of the cemetery in Falkreath. Khajiit will take a shovel and dig him up. After all, there are ways to die and not be dead. Khajiit has heard of potions that mimic death, slowing the heart to barely beat. If so, then Edward might still be out there. To that end, this one has heard rumors of a bandit wearing Daedric Plate, plying his blood trade at Knife Point Ridge. Originally, Khajiit did not think Edward the type to live in an abandoned mine, but now he is not so sure. Edward may have fooled the guard, but Khajiit won't believe he is truly dead until he sees it with his own eyes. Well, let's ride, shall we? Well, I can't, because it's your horse. I'll have to find a different horse for you. And you'll steal that one, too. Probably. You call that <laughs> a cemetery? I thought that was a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can help it. You just don't want it. <laughs> Horses you are, are exactly <laughs> what I was looking for. You see, my name is Bobbitt. And I have a problem I think you can help sort out. All right, we're following that dog. Who's this person? Why are they standing there? Hello? Why are you not wearing any shoes? 
Janasa! <laughs> what is... What the heck is going on with you, Janasa? She, she has no shoes. She has no shoes, no. Honey, don't get in my way. I'm Probably sorry. this woman with no shoes. You gonna give her some? <laughs> so you're just gonna stand here and not... Wait, wait, you need shoes! She's building up calluses on her feet. It makes her tougher. You can get tetanus from that. Come back! <laughs> Oh, we lost Barb. Oh, Barbara's got away. Hey, want to hear a funny joke? Sure, what's up? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting dog. Interrupting dog. Hey there, I got a quest for you. You want to come with me? I lost the puffer. <laughs> <sighs> I guess we'll catch up with it. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're scaring me with that horse. <laughs> Why? What's so scary about it? It keeps getting in my face! He just likes you! He's like a little cat! Why are you still going in here with the horse? I want to, but I don't think I can. He has no opposable thumbs. Yeah. I don't believe the talking dog went into this cave, but we're here! Might as well screw it out! Yeah! Vampires. Disgusting parasites. Ugh. There are vampires in here, huh? Spoiler alert, Tally! Yeah, there are coffins here. There are coffins. Maybe they were just burying their dead. Bones, blood, and dead bodies. Mm -hmm. It's not the blood sucking that makes them monsters. It's the mess they leave around their lairs. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? It's reassembling! No! You go back I'll down! I'll tear you to pieces! <laughs> Oh, look, another corpse. Your work, I presume? No. <laughs> Not a lot of this is my my doing, actually. Yeah, it was hers, all right, and she drained the blood, too. I didn't choose the horse. The horse chose me. No, you chose the horse. Oh, that's right. You didn't. chose it. And you chose Whoa, hello, Just behind door number two. <laughs> it's the actual vampire. Hello. You're waiting for us? Got some nice armor there, yeah. little Miss Vampire. Well, that was a fun dungeon. Where are we going now? Being a vampire must drive you completely batty. Ha! I got that. <laughs> I got that. Ah. Uh, some people say being a vampire is cool, but in my opinion, it probably bites. Oh, we got some bandits in here, do we? I think so. These are our abandoned ruins. Hello! Oh. You can't have them. You didn't say oh. please. Let's see you bring yourself back from the dead after we've killed you! Got you. <laughs> I hear owls. It's so cool. Book Daedra. Read it. Nocturnal. Ooh. She's cool. Periates. Shergorath, yay! And Sanguine. And Vermina. Do you know what the opposite of a Daedra is? An Aedra. Nope. It's a nitra. <laughs> I can't see you, but I know you're doing that disappointed sigh. Telly. You wish to talk? I'm all pointy ears. Let's trade. What goofy armor do we have for you now? There we go. Let's get on with it then. <laughs> he looks good. Yeah, he does, actually. He looks great. Yeah, game recognized game. He looks nice. <clears throat> Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Hi. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Let me sell you the Golden Saints armor. It was nice while it lasted. Have a sweet roll that's wrong. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> huh. Interesting. Are you okay? You Are you dancing in midair? <laughs> I'm just having such a good time. <laughs> How do you do that with your feet? <laughs> the horse goes giddy up, gallop, gallop. The horse oh goes giddy God. up, gallop, gallop. <laughs> Look at me, I'm kicking him in the head. Hey, y'all, put your hands up. Come on. Put your, put your fists up, Tally. Oh, my God. This is straight out of Mary Poppins when they're laughing to the point where, where they're... Oh, my gosh. 
And that guy That's on the mountain. That's what you get for stealing my horse, you jerk. <laughs> and that guy on the mountain was wrong. Turns out I'm the one who's damaged. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh clean your rafters. It's so dusty up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honey, where are you going? No! <laughs> We've lost him to the ages. Oh no. You really do look great. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honey, are you lost to us forever? This talk of the Skyforge has oh, no! piqued my curiosity. <laughs> I'm fine. Perhaps Burway I'm fine, what do you ask? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I mean, oh, it's that foot Lord. down the ground here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is happening? Don't worry, I'm totally in control of the situation. This is fine. Oh my gosh. Don't worry about me. Yep, this is normal. Yes, apparently so. This is normal Mike behavior and I'll have you question it no more. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> I have no words for what is happening right now. Come on, take my hand. I'll show you a wonderful magical time. I'm, I'm run, trying, white, but it run, seems to be. It's a wonderful town. Dum dum. Dum dum, doo -doo 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 -dum, dum. <laughs> Forget about it then. Come here, Lucian. I can show you the world. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is so concerning. This is how I ride my invisible horse. Oh yeah, this is how I ride, and I ride it, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Ew, gross, guards, get away from me. <laughs> I think you have plenty of personal space at this point, darling. <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> Aw, what a cute kitty cat. Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> That's a name, all right. Well, you now have a pet. Oh, good. Another hanger on. All right, sure. Hey, there's room on the ground for him now, I guess. <laughs> Adventure awaits. All right, let's go. <laughs> your legs. Oh, my gosh. How are you not breaking your foot feet right now? Ah, that's the secret. If they're already broken, they can't break more. This is glorious. Don't you just love a bit of rain? <laughs> no, it always rains on your wedding day. Isn't that ironic? There's the horse. I'm not riding this one. <laughs> I'm not. All right. I refuse. <laughs> a bag on me, a bag on me. <laughs> Everything is better with a bag on me. <laughs> Why suddenly that song? I've just been thinking about it for oh, a while. <laughs> Oh, you don't need meth and you don't need speed because everything is better with a, a bag, bag of, of weed. weed. <laughs> no, it's a bag of mead. Oh, a bag of mead. 